Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. I feel like the camera's really low. Might be because the camera was really high on my last video. If you didn't check it out, I did the one-hour whip and chat, and I will leave it up. I think it's over here in the eye. Anyway, I debated back and forth um, whether I wanted to do this video, and here I am. <laughs> so what is it I'm doing, you're wondering? I'm sure editing Lindsay is going to have her hands... Quite full for this one. I am going to be doing my year in review for you guys. Um, I will be showing you all of the kits that I worked on over the year 2020. Um, and then I guess just giving you a little background of each one. So, before we get into it, uh, a few boring housekeeping tips. If you hear noise directly to my left, I do have a fan running. I am recording this while the tiny human is sleeping, so hopefully you don't hear any of that. And if you hear any husband noises, my husband is in the room. Say hi, husband. You will probably hear chairs squeaking and a lot of exasperated oh, from me because I've got a lot to show you. And this space is not built for all of it. So let's get right into it. So not unlike most people, I started diamond painting over the quarantine. Hopefully that camera angle is okay. So I did the four pack kit of, it was the rose. The Four Seasons, The Butterfly Kit, and Soulmates. Okay, so let's start with uh, the, uh, the Rainbow Rose. So I didn't start keeping track of how long things took me until I got quite a few in, but for whatever I do know, I will put it across the screen. Um, this one here was my first one. This is a sweet 35 color, what are you, 22 by 22, so it's a little one, but this is the one that got me hooked. You can see the sparkle, and I used to work on these down in my kitchen, so I got that one, and then the next one, these all came together, um, I don't know if this promo still exists, I'm sure if it does, somebody will let me know down below, but I did the Four Seasons one. And this is one of those ones that from a distance, it looks much, much better. And this is where you start learning that bigger is better when it comes to details. This one here was 31 colors and it was a 20 by 30. These were the perfect snack size kits to get started on. Um, I then did the butterfly on the stones. This one I think is probably my favorite the way it came out because it looks so 3D. This one only had 19 colors and it is a 22 by 25. And then the last one, which I'm I'm glad I did this one last and not first, because this rendering is just far too small for what this is. Um, these are supposed to be people. And, I mean, you can get the idea of it, but either way, these were my first four. Um, I do keep them in a portfolio. Well, I did. I took them out for this video. So I will uh, pull that out at some point here and show you guys. The next one that I did was this sweet little Chewbacca partial. Now, this was my first experience with a partial and with Diamond Dots. Uh, it also was my first experience with AB drills. You can see there's some here. But the shine on these drills is unbelievable. Now, I didn't know this was a partial. I didn't know what a partial was. I banged those ones out in a few days, and I, not unlike everyone else, kind of scrambled and said, what can I find? Well, my husband is a huge Star Wars fan, so I thought, oh, this would be cool. I could do it, and I could hang it up in our... At that point, I thought in his office, because we didn't know about his job. Anyway, that's... If you guys want to hear more about that, make sure you check out the video that I linked in the eye earlier. <laughs> but this one's really cute. Not Most partials are just plain in the background, so this is nice that this is printed. I will say, my experience is that Diamond Dots is very expensive for what it is. Now, keep in mind, if you didn't know, Diamond Dots, as well as Diamond Art Club, are both companies that license their artwork. So, as far as I know, and if I'm wrong, please let me know down below. Diamond Dots is the only one that is, um, has permission to carry True Disney. 
Um, and you will see some, you'll see some in a few minutes, but I got this one and because, and it tells you here at the bottom, you know, copyright and trademarks, because this is Disney, uh, it was very expensive. I also found Diamond Dots had a lot of static in their drills, but that's a personal thing. So, let's talk partials. <laughs> And try to move things around here. So, I got this kit. I want to say I got this off of Walmart's website. Um, as you can tell here, it's aptly titled Penguin, which it's not. <laughs> I did not know that this was going to be a special drill. I did not know that this was going to be a partial. And this is when I learned very quickly. I'm not really a big fan of either one of these two things. Is this a cool image? Yes. Was it a pain in my butt to work on? Yes. <laughs> So, my sister has said to me, oh, send it to me, I'll, I'll hang it up. And I'm like, all right. Um, this was, if you guys like specials, then tell me your secrets, because I don't. Um, I've done a couple little special kits that weren't, um, like that. They were keychains and stuff like that. Okay. So, before I get into this next part here, I am going to let you know that I did not learn about the issues with uh, illegally obtaining stolen artwork, uh, legally licensing artwork. I didn't understand any of that at this point. So, like many people who start out in this craft, we made a mad dash. You find all those really cheap Amazon kits or like the China Mail sites like Fan Cells or um, Peggy Buys or Everyday E Deals. So, I got the next two... These were a two-pack, so let me start with this one. Um, and there is a ton of this. I love the stained glass style, which will explain, I guess, why I like Mandy Manzano's artwork. Um, I got this one, which is Rapunzel, and then this one here, which is Ariel. I got these off of, I want to say Amazon. I'm not even 100% sure. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. I got a few more. I kept everything down below. So if my audio is trailing at all, that's what's happening. So this one here is, let's see, can I zoom you guys? Woo! This is Mickey and Minnie in front of the Eiffel Tower. Um, this is the only one of any of the ones that I've done that I've hung. And when I say hung, I mean by painter's tape on the wall in my crafting area. Um, I did get a bunch of these Mickey and Minis because my daughter loves Mickey and Minnie. Okay. So this next one here, I got this one. I want to say I got this off of Amazon. Uh, this was my first square kit. Actually, let me try to move some of these out of the way. And I got this. Well, first of all, I love Chuck Taylor's Converse sneakers. Um, sorry if the camera is all sorts of wobbly. I'm at the card table with the bad lighting, the wobbly table. Anyway, so I got this because I had ordered the Bayou Lady. Now, for those who don't know, the Mandy Manzano princess banners, they come and they go. And I had ordered the Bayou Lady and it oversold and... In that time frame, they contacted me to let me know they had canceled my order. But prior to them doing that, I had purchased this one because I wanted to make sure that I was okay doing a square kit when I was about to tackle a 42 by 125 centimeter square kit. Um, so I got this one. This was my first double-sided tape. Um... I think it's really cute, and I think it came out really nice, too. Look at that shine. This was the first time I kept track of anything. So, this one here, I'll put it up on the screen, but it took me 12 days and 22 hours and 36 minutes. So, the one I did after this one is the Bayou Lady. Um, she's massive. If you guys don't know, this is the one I'm talking about. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Lindsay, you just told us that it oversold. Yes, it did. But, quick water break. Ah, 
um, I went on a D stash group and I posted a desperately in search of post and a woman actually from my state said she had it in her stash and she would be more than willing to sell it to me. Um, she did. I got it and I did it in 29 days. I had people tell me they thought I could do it in a month and I was like, I can do it. I did the whole thing with a single plate, single placer. So shout out to you, all my single placer friends. Um, it is not an easy feat, but this is what she looks like. Excuse me, and I will insert a photo of me here holding it. Um, it's massive. So, let's move on to the next one. And here's my note to say, insert the bayou lady. Okay. Ooh. So, this next one... Of course, I'm trying to like keep this on the sly. No, whatever, you guys can see it. Um, I got this one. I don't even remember where I got this one. Um, Disney faces, super cute. This took me almost no time to do. I'm going to move on. Um, I would love to, if somebody's like, I can't believe you're rushing through those so quickly. I would love to show them off, but, um, you know, I really stand for paying the artist. This was a mystery diamond painting from Diamond Painting Obsession. I figured out what it was before I laid a single drill down on it. Um, simply by the colors that were given to me. This one actually turned out pretty nice. Um, not a lot of colors. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But that's what I got. So, the next one here is a watercolor BB-8. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, well, we're going to... Oh, crap. I'm dropping stuff left and right. So, before this one, I actually did uh, my first custom from Evermoment. Uh, I did it as a gift, so I will... Oh, crap. I will insert a photo here of what it looked like. And then I did this little guy. And let me figure out where this drill came from. And I may or may not have found where it goes. Um, so anyway, I did a an Evermoment custom, which if you have ever ordered from Evermoment, they um, do double-sided tape. But again, there's my note. Um, I did that one. That one at the time was not my biggest. I lied. <laughs> so I did the BB-8. Okay. Then this one. So my Bayou Lady was my favorite by far. Um, I shouldn't say by far. But this one. Let's see if I can see me guys out a little bit. I love. I love, love, love this kit. I loved everything. Every second of working on this kit. There's so much going on in this painting that I think it's overlooked because it's so dark in nature and like the background. So you have the flowers, the pansies. You have the black cat. You have the white rabbit. Alice has the suits, if you will, on her arm here. You have the rocking horse. You ha just have the butterflies. I mean, you have like the fire behind her. It, this is a Stunning canvas. And if anyone is following the Alice in the Winter Wonderland um, event that I'm hosting right now, I will leave the playlist in the corner. Um, you can check out the announcement video, the latest up to date. I will be putting my weekly updates in there as well. Um, this, a lot of people are working on this right now. And it's just as exciting for me to see somebody else working on this as it was for me to work on this. And this is a JoJo's art canvas and if you guys know JoJo's usually does a lot of like the wolves so this was such a unique piece in his style and I I, I, I loved every moment of it let's grab this one Oi. is that right yeah okay sorry guys I just had to check Editing Lindsay, I'm sure, will put something fun and exciting on the screen there. Again, this is another one of those Mickey and Minis. Um, super cute. Moving on. 
The next one I did was the Llama Corn from Sheena Pike. Sheena Pike does a lot of these really cute, adorable little animals. Uh, this one is a square. This was the 18th one that I did for the year. Um, this, if you are into color blocking, this is the kit for you. Now, I will say there's another one, the Frenchie Corn, which is a Frenchie with the unicorn horn. They did that one as a partial instead. So, all right. I loved this one. It was so cute. All right. Now, this was my official entry for drills and chills. I, uh, this was my first Hanolin. Um, I am a really big fan of the Hanolin and the Mandy Manzano, like with the thick block lines like this. I love this. Her eyes are stunning. The little freckles are stunning. The Monarch butterfly wings are perfect. The shimmer on this canvas is un. Believable. I loved working on this one. I think I did this one in like a week. I don't know. Editing Lindsay will put it up on the screen. Yeah, it was a week. Um, I, I adored this kit from start to finish. And there's not much more I can say about that. So. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I wasn't sure. I've seen a lot of other content creators do this. So I'm, I'm definitely not staking claim as the original for this. Um. This was my crystal art, crystal canvas arts kit that I did. This kit is a full crystal canvas, except for the true black uh, drills are just black drills. They're not crystal drills. The overall effect of this one is absolutely stunning. Um, and I'd like to hang this somewhere in our house. This one made me realize crystals just aren't for me. I really love, like I said, the overall effect, but this one was quite difficult for me to actually work on. Um, the reflection just bounced back and it, it made it very hard for me with my old eyes to work. So what'd you say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will say crystal canvas, they have amazing pieces. And if that's your thing, definitely check them out. Um, my next one, this is Jules and Vern. Um, I had a lot of people say, oh, I really like that Hannah Lynn. This is actually a Mika Jelena. Uh, very similar stylistically. I love this one. I struggled a little bit because all the colors were dark. But I got to points where I could just get into the groove. Um, the monocle with the AB drills, the wings in the background... This one is so beautiful and steampunk, again, with the cute little freckles. I loved this kit. Um, and there's a reason why I keep going back and I keep showing off Diamond Art Club kits because their quality is just unbelievable. Um, if you guys did not know, I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. Obviously, everything that I'm showing here is not Diamond Art Club. All of my opinions are my own. If you are a first-time purchaser with Diamond Art Club, I do have a code. It is Sparkle Squad. I will put it right here on the screen. Um, that will save you 15% off your first purchase with Diamond Art Club. Keep in mind that it is an affiliate link, so I will make a small commission off of that. Uh, basically, what you save is what I'm earning. Not even. I don't even think it's the same amount. Anyway, no pressure. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. If you do want to use it, thank you. Um, anyway, let's keep going. So... I want to say, after Mika, yes. So, the old shoe house is the one I did next. I'm actually going to attempt to put this on the table. I might regret this. Hold on. Okay. So, I've been asked multiple times to do a post-review of this video. Of this video. Of this canvas. And I promise it is still coming. Um, as you can see here, logistically, oh my goodness. This is not very easy. Oh, okay. If you guys hear lots of noises, that's just me not knowing what to do with my life in so many ways. <laughs> so, yes, the image is sideways. Um, let's see if I can. This is why I haven't done the post review, you guys. 
I'm doing my best here. <laughs> so, <laughs> all you people in the comments, please be kind. <laughs> uh, Elsa's about to fall off the table here. Okay. So, all right, I'm trying to do this. Bear with me, you guys. If anyone understands why it's taken so long to do post review, this is it. There's not really a place to <laughs> properly show it. It's huge. This one was my biggest one to date. This was a 70 by 105. 105 by 70. Anyway, so fun fact, when I did this section here, I did not realize there were geese until I, I need a drill pen. I feel a drill coming up. I didn't know that there were geese here until I finished it. Um, the sparkle that you see here is all real. <laughs> There's no filter. Um, so, you see the cherry blossoms, the detail in the old shoe. This is like old Mother Hubbard. This canvas is absolutely stunning. And this is artist Dominic Davison. And he does a lot of these like landscapes. This was my first landscape one that I had ever done. Um, I'm trying to roll it so that I can keep showing you more of this canvas, but without making my table go crazy. So we'll see if that works. Um, I actually started in this corner here sideways and worked my way across, which is actually up. The details here in the mushrooms are unbelievable. I mean, look at the sparkle here. And then the cherry blossoms... <laughs> the rainbow, the mountain, the castle. I mean, this is a stunning, stunning kit. So, post review coming soon. If you guys are wondering, yes, I am out of breath. <laughs> There's nothing worse than trying to entertain the masses and uh, having to scramble to do it. Next one I did was this cute little Strangeling kit from Craftably. This was my first Craftably. I do have a post review up for this. I will link that up in the eye. If I ever say I'm going to link something and I don't, please just kindly remind me down in the comment section and I will do my best to adjust this. Um, this is adorable. I wanted to test out Craftably. This was the second or third update they had. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will correct me down below. But this is a cute little kit. She had a lot of colors. 50 colors. All right. So after that one, I did... <sighs> for people who have, like, wide open spaces for filming, just know I'm jealous. <laughs> this is the Seahorse. This is what I thought was going to be my last kit of 2020. Turned out I was crazy, and I did another one after this. Anyway... I will leave the post review for this one up as well. This one gave me a lot more struggle than I anticipated. It is a square kit. It is beautiful. The colors are fantastic. The sparkle, the shine is unreal. This one will be hung up in our house. <sighs> I just wish I had a better experience while working on this. And for anyone who said to themselves earlier, Lindsay's an affiliate of Diamond Art Club. She would never say anything wrong. Watch that post review. So, and then the last kit, this one, I got, let's see when you guys back in, I guess, um, from one of those inexpensive kits. I actually figured out who the artist was, and it's an art teacher. Um, if I remember, I will leave all of her information down below. Um, and I basically contacted her, and I had said, you know... A lot of these sites are using your artwork. And she responded and said, oh, you did a really great job with it. Doesn't really look. It's, I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, super, super close to the original. But that doesn't matter. Because this was just a cute, fun little cactus to do. And I finished this one up just in time so that I could get ready for Alice in Winter Wonderland. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit all over the place. A lot all over the place. However, all over the place, it was all over the place. <laughs> so, um, I do appreciate you guys all being here. Um, I hope that you did enjoy this. If this is something that you enjoyed and you would like to see more of, I will try to film a 2021 
what I did in a year video. I don't know what this is going to be titled. Now that I said that, it'll probably be what I did in a year video. Greatest hits. <laughs> now that's what I call Diamond Painting 2020. <laughs> oh, I like that. Anyway, while you guys are here, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Subscribe to the channel. It does help me so, so much. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And make sure while you are there, you hit that notification bell. Thanks. And uh, you'll be notified anytime I upload any kind of video. I do not operate on any kind of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record while my child is sleeping or sleeping. If there's any particular type of video that you guys would like to see more of, less of, let me know down below. Um, you can connect with me through my social media. I have my Facebook group linked down below as well as my Instagram. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of and I'd love to hear from you. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys. Bye.